In this example, we will be approximating the square root of 82 to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we need to look at perfect squares nearby to 82. An example of this is 9 squared. 9 squared is 81. We can also look at 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. We can see that 82 lies between 81 and 100, so we can write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 82, which is less than the square root of 100. And we can write this because 81 is less than 82, which is less than 100. Now we can simplify. The square root of 81 becomes 9 because 9 squared is 81. The square root of 100 becomes 10 because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that 9 is less than the square root of 82, which is less than 10. So our square root of 82 lies between 9 and 10. However, 82 is a lot closer to 81 than it is to 100. So our decimal will be closer to 9 than it is to 10. We can try out 9.1 times 9.1 to see how close that gives us to 82. 1 times 1 is 1. 9 times 1 is 9. We'll add our 0 and do 9 times 1 is 9, and then 9 times 9 is 81. When we add these together, we end up getting 82.81. And this is very close to 82. It's, in fact, as close to 82 as we can get with just a tenths place approximation. So we can approximate the square root of 82 by saying it's about 9.1, since 9.1 squared gives us 82.81. So this is our approximation here.